Just when I thought the frenemies drama was finally over and some peace was settling in over that whole situation, Trisha had to go and betray Ethan in probably the worst way possible. It's a mess, so let's get into it. So, these last 24 hours have been absolutely crazy. Trisha Paytas has made over 20 TikToks, Ethan's involved, Ethan's mom is involved, and all at the center of this mess is Keemstar. Now, this all started last week when Trisha made a video about Keemstar and his new girlfriend. They felt really strongly about the age of Keemstar's new girlfriend, and they made sure everyone knew. Keem actually invited Trisha on his podcast with Faze Banks so they could talk the situation out and debate each other over it. Trisha posted a TikTok debating whether or not they should actually go through with it, but everyone in the comments was saying no. Ironically, one comment said, it's so sad knowing you'll do it just to be petty to Ethan. And that's exactly what Trisha did. Keemstar posted a picture with Trisha and Faze Banks and said, just recorded Frenemies, Next Mom's Basement, only on Spotify. Now, these three being in the same room was so unbelievable that people were actually debating whether or not it was actually Trisha. Some people were trying to say it was just a Trisha lookalike and they were doing the photo just to get attention, but no, it was actually Trisha. Now, this was just really unbelievable. Trisha and Keem don't have the best history. Keem has called them names online, they've gone back and forth, and Trisha even told Ethan during Frenemies that they can't talk about Keem because it triggers them. Well, this tweet eventually made its way to Ethan, and he responded saying, I'm not even gonna front or try and be funny. This just really makes me sad. Just so we're all on the same page here, Ethan and Keem are the definition of enemies. They have a really long history of going back and forth online. Keem has said some pretty nasty things about Ela. They've done videos on each other and it's gotten really nasty. So Trisha going on Ethan's number one enemies podcast looks really shady to people. That would be like Ethan flying to Colorado and doing an episode of The Sip with Rylan. Can you even imagine that? I don't even want to picture how mad Trisha would be if that actually happened. Ethan's response saying that he was sad sent Trisha off on probably one of their longest rants ever. They posted at least 50 TikToks pretty much saying the same stuff over and over again. Trisha's argument is that podcasts are meant to be discussions between two people who disagree with each other. Trisha said that's the whole reason they even met Ethan. Ethan did a video bashing Trisha and they went on his podcast to clear the air. They also went on Gabby Hanna's podcast to try and clear the air with her, even though that didn't really work out. People were commenting under Trisha's TikToks as they were posting, saying like, why would you wear Frenemy merch on Keemstar's podcast? A lot of people felt like that was an indirect way of shading Ethan and trying to get to him by just being petty. Now, Trisha claims they wore Frenemy's merch just to give off the message that they're still Team Ethan and not Team Keemstar. Then Trisha brought up the whole breakdown of Frenemies. They admitted that they still have ill feelings towards Ethan and they think of him the same way they think of David or Jason. But guys, here's where it gets really messy. Donna, Ethan's mom, commented on the situation and said, can't wait to go to her wedding, not? And someone replied saying, aw, that's not cool. She's still part of the family, right? And Donna said, family doesn't do things like that. What I'm feeling doesn't fit words. She's such a weasel. Now, Trisha, they went all the way off after seeing this. Donna Klein, Ethan's mom, I'm so sick of this shit. I'm so sick of this I can't wait to go to her one night. And you were taking off the invite the minute you sent Moses that text. They all know what that text was. On the last episode of Frenemies, which we also recorded as well, everyone was recording it, I, I brought that up. I said, why would your mom text the most vile, disgusting? I can't even speak it right now. I cannot speak it right now because she puts she put blame and the weight of something so heavy on me that I have to wait this out now with it because of her. She's a vile I cannot repeat, I can't even put out what she said. And when I asked Ethan, I'm like, your mom texted this? Like that, that's something that's, that's like the nastiest thing I've ever heard from anybody. And he's like, well, I told her not to text that. It's disgusting. What she put, what she placed on me is evil. It's downright evil. I bit my tongue when she's talked about me and compare me to Gabby. I bit it, I bit it. But this, she put a burden on me that I, can't, I will not talk about for a few months, but it's the most disgusting, blaming me for the most vile they also directly responded to Ethan's mom on Twitter, writing, What you texted Moses is the most evil thing to ever put out into the universe. If I'm a weasel, you're Satan for even putting that energy out there. You're an evil woman to write what you wrote. It's unspeakable. 
To put that burden on me the way you did is the worst karma. What Ethan's mom texted Moses after our fight was the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. I'm tormented with it daily. I won't even speak what she wrote because I reject that energy. That negative bad energy is something that paralyzed me then and now. I'm biting my tongue. I'm holding it the best I can. Ethan ran my mom and sister off social media for literally one TikTok that she deleted instantly and still has it up on his channel. His parents degrading me, insulting me still, fine, whatever. But the text she sent Moses was something only the devil himself would cast upon anyone. I'm livid. I'm angry. I've been carrying this evil, ugly burden she placed on me, blaming me for an unspeakable thing. She's evil. I just have never encountered anyone to put such an evil burden on me. A curse. Something to even write. Unfathomable. I'm trying my best, but I'm not going to be a pushover. They about me on the pod. I've tried to be the bigger person. Talking about my wedding and my relationship today? Get out of here. She is evil and I'm refusing that energy here and now. Ethan bullies and drives my sister off the internet for one TikTok she instantly deleted. Also, Ethan gives his platform to his parents to on me and everyone. He is a hypocrite and can't admit it. Even Keemstar latched onto the whole family drama, writing, Ethan's mom now refusing to go to Trisha's wedding because she came on my podcast? The W is too big. Dad must feel bad for Trisha Paytas now, but at least she knows now Ethan and his family never cared for her. They just used her for content. I feel like this is just such a pattern with Trisha. Someone will say one thing to them and it's like Trisha has all this built up anger towards someone and then they just unleash it the second someone dares to mention their name. Now, I will admit, Ethan's parents have said some shady things about Trisha on the family's podcast, but Trisha took it 10 times further with their TikToks. That's the whole problem when you mix family with business. Of course, Ethan's mom is going to step in and say something. That's her son. But we've seen this happen before. Family stepping in is never a good idea. Trisha then jumped back to them filming a podcast with Keem and said, And guess what? I'm going to go on more podcasts this week, including Dr. Drew. I'm allowed to talk about my life, my issues, my feelings without getting approval from anyone. You know what it's called when you can't talk to someone because someone else doesn't like them? It's called a cult. Kind of funny considering Trisha literally called Shane and Rylan evil for pretty much the exact same reasons. Jeffrey went on Rylan's podcast and Trisha really didn't like that. Now, obviously, it does go a little bit deeper than that, but it's still ironic. The, the least he could have done was, you know, like, take down the pot. Because I brought up this podcast, this stupid one, the sip or whatever, that was like, I'm like, you know, you having Jeffrey on there, like, gushing over him, like, he's odd. Like, when you know he's an awful person, he's vile. You like, told me. He's told you that he thinks he's vile. Yeah. And then he then see him on the podcast. And I, the least he could have done is like, you know what? Let's just delete that podcast. It's still up. It's like Ethan was actually put in this position when frenemies broke up. Gabby Hanna asked Ethan to come on his podcast. And Ethan says he never even responded, writing Gabby Hanna messaged me immediately after frenemies broke up trying to get on the podcast. I knew it would be an interesting show with lots of views to be had, but I didn't even respond to her. And I still haven't. Some things you just don't do. I would never do that to Trisha. Another kind of hypocritical thing was when Trisha brought up their sister. Trisha keeps bringing up Ethan making that podcast episode responding to Trisha's sister's famous 5% TikTok. But um, we end up paying for Ethan and Nila, which is crazy because he takes that 5% and VIP tickets to Disneyland is not cheap. What? What is wrong with these people? I swear to God. That's Trisha's sister made a TikTok saying that we didn't pay for Disneyland for her birthday. Okay, I begged Moses, begged him to let us pay. So Ethan made this really funny episode debunking it. But according to Trisha, that's bullying. But not even five minutes after bringing that up again, Trisha tweeted this. You talk about me, I'm allowed to talk about you. So your sister talked about Ethan and he talked about her. And that's bullying. But when it's the other way around and it helps your argument, it's completely fine because that's how the internet works, right? The funniest thing is, Ethan actually predicted on front of me is that Trisha would do this to him. Flop between camps. I'm sure he'll be friends with Keemstar in a month from now. Absolutely. Being not. like, no. yeah, Ethan, I had used to go to his house and you'll make start making up. No, and, like, no. and, when, and he put a camera. 
so far in the comments of Trisha's 50 TikToks, literally no one agrees with them. You said incredibly cruel and vicious things about Ethan. Why are you surprised his mother hates you? Didn't you cry when Shane and Ryan did a podcast with Jeffrey? You and Gabby are literally the same person. Now, speaking of Gabby Hanna, right after Trisha left the Mom's Basement podcast, Keemstar had Gabby Hanna over. Keem tweeted, Dear internet, prepare for my next magic trick. He then tweeted this photo of them all together after filming the episode and even asked Ethan to be his next guest. I really don't think that will ever happen, but then again at this point, I really wouldn't be surprised if it did. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.